guys. Welcome back. As we are doing another. Pirates series. And, um, we'll be simming. Um, we're gonna do a game each month. Seven and one. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. In the National League Central, the Braves grabbed 13 hits in the game as they sank the visiting Buccos four to nothing. Looking at the standings, the Braves are in fourth place in the NL East, and the Pirates are in third place in the NL Central. The Cincinnati Reds got 11 overall hits as they beat the Tribe in Cleveland seven to three. As of today, the Indians are in third place in the AL Central, while the Reds sit in last place in the National League Central Division. The San Francisco Giants combined for a four-hitter as they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley Field 3-1. to one. At the moment, the Cubs are atop the NL Central, and the Giants are leading the National League West. Carlos Torres earned the third W of his season as the Brewers pushed past the Diamondbacks 7-5. to five. Heading into today, the Brewers are in fourth place in the NL Central, and the Diamondbacks are in last place in the NL West. The Dodgers got 12 hits in this one as they got the best of the visiting Redbirds, 10 to three. Right now, the Dodgers sit in second place in the National League West Division, and the Cardinals sit in second place in the National League Central. Blake Trinan grabbed his second win of the year as the Nationals pushed past the Mariners, three to two. Looking at the standings, the Nationals sit in third place in the National League East Division, and the Mariners sit in second place in the American League West. The Mets finished off a three-game sweep as they grabbed a walk-off win in extra innings over the Padres, 2-1. to one. The win was their seventh in a row. In other Mets news, second baseman Neil Walker is listed as day-to-day, -day, but is not expected to see any time on the DL. He is dealing with a bruised arm. At the moment, the Mets are in first place in the NL East. And the Padres are in fourth place in the NL West. The Hold on, guys.
MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the opener of a three. Drew Hutchison, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. The ERA totally inflated. It's over five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. And he's just not giving his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. Harold, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've brought five of their last eight ball games. Well, we're looking at a ball club that really needs some leadership. They need one person to kind of step up, take his game to... Another level. They were shut out yesterday. They've been struggling lately. Just nothing flowing. Maybe a big hit, a big home run will ignite them and get things turned around. One and two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Here's your one to Cespedes. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Soft liner towards short. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Man, was he flying down the line right there. Now, I know there's two yeah. outs, and he's not quitting. Maybe First this is a rally starter with a two-out infield single. Do that. From the stretch. Swung on and missed, Still and that's the final out is that ruled, uh, okay, for the I'm inning. Stepping into the box, oh, Phil Goslin. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Josh Harrison stands in. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. And another foul ball. The payoff pitch one more time. Another one sent foul. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batting third, third baseman, Manny Machado. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bruce on the run. And that ends the inning. We played an inning. Coming to the plate now as Drupal Cabrera for his career in this matchup. One for six. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. He might have been setting him up with that high fastball to change his eye level. Now he's got him set up. Maybe he'll go down the zone. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Here's Jay Bruce now. He was responsible for both of his club's runs batted in in last night's ball game. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Career numbers against Matt Harvey. He's two for four. He's taken him deep once. And this is going to be a foul ball. Okay. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. This is in the air out to right field. On the move is Bruce. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Here's Gregory Polanco. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Hit in the air to center field. Granderson is under it. 
makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting six. Here's John Jason now on the season. He's hitting just over 290 coming into action here. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Lock him up with the off-speed stuff on that one. Jose Reyes becomes the first out of the inning. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get into chase right there, making him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away. But he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious. Two away. Stepping in and ready for another Wilmer. shot. Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Lays off that time and it's 1 and 2. Well, no surprise on that one. That's the classic slider down the way trying to get him to chase on that 0 2 pitch. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Again, he sends it out of play. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Harrison onto the grass, makes the catch, and that'll retire. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Got him to go down swinging there. Francisco Cervelli is retired for the first down here in the bottom half of the third. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Coming to the plate now, Drew Hutchison. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. The 1-1 pitch. Got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. and one. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Phil Gosselin, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Line drive to center field. Granderson will get there, and he puts it away to retire. In is Curtis Granderson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit hard up the middle. Mercer has it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The left fielder number 50. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. Cespedes. Now here it comes. Ground ball left side. Throw gets him two down. Now batting first baseman. Here's Lucas, Lucas Duda now. Duda. Two away in the inning and Dan it looks like this could be another one two three inning for him. Yeah he has really found a groove on the mound and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire. Digging in now, Josh Harrison comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hit hard towards center, and the Pirates are in the hit column. Well, he's a really good hitter. When you drop below 280, people start having concerns. So that's a welcome hit. Maybe he'll rock it back up towards 300 like expected of him. The 3 0 pitch. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. He's gone. In time as he just gets the tag down. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. 
And this is fouled back and out of play. The 3 2 now to Machado. Hit back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Stepping in now, Andrew McCutcheon. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And Bruce has got this one two away now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The left fielder, number 25. Here's Gregory Polanco. Gregory 0 for 1 Polanco. for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. That's a nice piece of hitting. It may not go down the box score as a base hit, but he's hanging in there. You're down two strikes, and he throws that breaking ball away, and you fouled it off to give yourself a chance. That's a nice at bat. And he'll dive back in safely. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already, fouling balls off. But as the pitcher, I got to keep throwing him strikes. And if he hits it, hopefully it's at somebody. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bruce ranging back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Machado is on his way home. The relay throw, the tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the. Eight three tonight. Josh Edgen gets the win in relief, his second of the year.